there are no subtractions and divisions in our mind. There is only addition and multiplication. I will just remove negative thoughts and I will have positive thoughts. All the best, it's not going to work. It's just that you need to pay little attention as to how it functions. You will see there is a distinction between what is you and what you have gathered. When will you learn how to handle my thought, how to handle my emotion? We will give you tools how to figure this machine out. Whatever the issue, we'll do our best, but this should not be the issue. See, uh, this is an unfortunate condition that a whole lot of human beings are in. In their experience, in their personal experience, life is like me versus the universe. Being in competition with the universe is a stupid thing to do. That's not a competition you must get into. Hello? Me versus the universe is a bad competition to get into, would you, you also agree with <laughs> So, this is why yoga… Yoga does not mean twisting and turning your body. The word yoga means union. Right now it's me versus the universe. This is just your psychological condition. This is not the reality. Even when you feel utterly lonely, are you still breathing? So you're transacting with the world, isn't it? Yes? You only can't get along with the people around you, but atmosphere is okay with you, food is okay if it tastes good, water is okay. You have transaction with the world, isn't it? Your existence is constantly an engagement with the universe, but your mind becomes against the universe. If you create a psychological condition that you're against or you're in competition with the universe or the cosmos, obviously you will feel crushed for small things. Little things will crush you. He said, it's better to walk alone than to walk with a fool. If you want, consciously you can evolve in this evening. There is no limit as to how a human being can become. This is something that every human being must do. Then coming together will be hugely rewarding. When Gautama, the Buddha was asked, is it better to walk alone? or in company, he said, it's better to walk alone than to walk with a fool. Well, that's him, not me. He was quite sure that only a fool will walk with you. <laughs> so he said, it's better to walk alone than to walk with a fool. Certain lore in this country says, when you want to do a short and quick journey, walk alone. When you want to do a long journey, walk in company. But the important thing is, who is walking with you? Not always being together is a good thing, many times, being together can be a nuisance. <laughs> so, <clears throat> first and foremost, unless you are a twin, even then, we come alone and we go alone. If one does not know how to be by himself or herself, then being together can be a lot of nuisance. We are referred to as human beings. Human beings means every other creature is what it is simply because of what it does. But a human being can simply be, which is a unique quality of the human being.
that we can simply be, that we are not compulsive action, that's what it means.